What up, YouTube? Big Lou, Big Lou's Coach Review, back again. And that's right, today we're here going to do a little review, and we're going to switch things up a little bit on this review. Now, the review is going to be based on OatsOvernight.com, okay? OatsOvernight.com is a oatmeal company, which is comprised of, I think, about maybe like four or five kids. And I stress the word kids, like young guys, maybe in their 20s. Um, that decided to come out with this concept of taking your oatmeal, mixing in some flavors and some other natural seeds and essences inside the oatmeal to create these flavors, okay? Now, pretty interesting stuff, the um, oats overnight. Nutritional facts is it's 270 calories per serving. The serving size is one packet, so 270 calories per this whole package, okay? When you open it up, there's oatmeal and there's protein powder. I'm guessing it's whey protein. Um, you know, looking at the ingredients, a certified gluten-free whole grain rolled oats, fava bean protein, isolate pea protein. Oh, so it's, it's got pea protein. So it's not whey protein, it's pea protein. Uh, pea protein isolate, maple sugar, powdered, maple sugar powdered. It says powdered dates, seeds, so dates, flax seeds, hemp seeds, natural flavors, molasses, molasses to tapioca syrup, Himalayan pink salt, and monk fruit. That's in this one here. Now, the reason why there's all this maple syrup and everything in this one is because this is the banana bread flavor, okay? This is their subscriber exclusive, okay? So when you're a subscriber to this company, you select how many packets of this stuff that you want sent to you each and every month. I pay $64 a month, and that's being a subscriber, you get a discounted price. So 64 bucks, I'm guessing it's probably like 70 or 75 bucks for the monthly subscription, but I've been paying $64, okay? And it's got a lifespan of one year. So for doomsday preppers out there, understand this has only got a one year um, shelf life, okay? And just so you know under and understand, this one I haven't tried yet. When you're a subscriber, they send you these exclusives, okay? I normally have the strawberry and cream overnight oatmeal, okay? And that one's got flax seed and it's got maca powder, um, freeze-dried strawberries, oatmeal, and protein powder, okay? Uh, they say it's got, I think it's 23 grams of protein per packet, which is pretty interesting. <clears throat> but this is for their research and development. Okay, so they're saying their process is create in the test kitchen, monthly release to subscribers, it comes in your monthly box, and improve from customer feedback. So they get customer feedback once enough customers give enough feedback on a product, and then they do a full scale launch for a limited time or a permanent release. Okay, and they say we launch the highest reviewed flavors and scrap the rest. Once launched, subscribers have year-round access so you can go to oatsovernight.com they're out of tempe arizona okay that's pretty interesting the concept is actually pretty interesting but at the same time there's a lot of things that anger me about this company okay it's not the taste of the product i love the taste of the product i do um however i can't cancel my monthly subscription could you believe that? When I created a login and password with the email, I go back to the site and I go put my information in and it won't log me in. It has no idea of who I am as a subscriber. However, they keep charging my credit card each and every month, $64, and I cannot unsubscribe. Can you believe that? So I'm going to get hit on that credit card each and every single month as a subscriber but I can't cancel my subscription. And if you call people and call, call them, they don't know what's going on. So 
I guess you could say these are going to be young, wealthy kids by now. I mean, it's all over Instagram. It's all over Facebook. God knows how many people in America are buying these. So these kids got to be multimillionaires already, you know. I would imagine so. Um, but it's pretty, pretty amazing product. It's just, you know, the company itself. Why can't I cancel my subscription? This is killing me. So each and every month I get hit with $64 and they keep sending me overnight oatmeal. The reason why I want to I want to cancel my subscription, just so you know, it's not because of the product being bad, only because I discovered another way that I could enjoy my oatmeal, and that's not having to wait overnight for it. Um, I've been dieting for the past three months. Okay, I've lost a total of, at this point, I believe it's like thirty five pounds. Which, hey, that's great. Thirty five pounds is awesome, and maybe this being in my diet has played a role uh, that I have it for my breakfast. However, though, the strawberry and cream flavor that I like so much, I don't really need to spend $64 a month to actually have oatmeal. Because if you think about it, oatmeal costs like nothing. You could get a big Quaker Oats oatmeal thing with the Quaker Oat guy, the pilgrim on the, on the cylindrical container. And it doesn't really cost much to get oatmeal. Oatmeal is not an overpriced commodity. You know, it's, it's, it's nothing, really. So what I do is instead of having to wait overnight, because sometimes I'm lazy and I procrastinate and I forget to tear this open, pour it in the plastic drinkable blender cup thing, and then put it in the fridge and wait overnight. I'm a little too lazy for that. So what I've discovered, what I've done, is I take my oatmeal... And I put it in my Nutribullet. And I blend it down into a fine powder. And then I add freeze-dried strawberries. And then I add my flaxseed, my maca, and my protein powder. I add all that in there. And I blend it with some 1% milk. And you know what? It tastes exactly like the strawberry and cream that I get from this company. So... Uh, and the beauty is when you put the oatmeal in a Nutribullet and you blend it into a powder, you add the milk in. Guess what? You don't have to wait overnight. You drink it right then and there. And you're good. The other pet peeve that I have with this company is, is that you add the product to the blender bottle, you throw your milk or water or whatever it is you're throwing in it, shake it up, wait overnight, drink it in the morning, the first two thirds of the blender bottle is you're drinking whatever liquid you put in there. And then on the bottom sits all the soaked in oatmeal with the freeze-dried strawberries and all the seeds so when you get to the bottom then it's like you're drinking it but you're chewing it it's like you're drinking and chewing you're not actually drinking it all down my method with the neutral bullet works 10 times better and i could have it right there on the spot i don't have to wait overnight i'm too lazy to wait overnight even if it is just set it and forget it type of process however though you might be different you might be the type of person who will put this in their blender bottle, put your milk in it, seal it up, stick it in the fridge in the morning, wake up, drink half of it down, and get a spoon and eat the rest. You might be that person. I personally am not that person. And since this is such an easy method on creating and making oatmeal packets and pouches, it's not rocket science. Anybody could do it, you know. It's just they did it, and they're being successful at it. And you see all this online marketing and advertising, you know, on Facebook and Instagram and blah, blah, blah. You see all these people drink. Oh, my God, this is amazing. I even did the same thing. I drank it. I was like, oh, my God, this is amazing. I love it. However, when you give it some thought, you know, because we all fall victim to clickbait, you give it some thought, you realize, I just got duped on oatmeal. Anybody could do this. I just didn't think of doing it. They thought of doing it, and they packaged it, and they sold it. 
So now I'm just trying to cancel my subscription and I can't. So it seems like they're forever going to collect $64 from me. I even tried canceling through Truebill and it wouldn't allow me. Go figure on that one. Um, so I'm just going to talk to my credit card company and say, if you see a charge coming in that's recurring, please cancel this charge. I don't want this charge, you know. I don't want to have to get to that point, but it seems like that's what I'm going to have to do, you know. So let's look at what I did. And then we'll finish up and give you final thoughts. So the company is called OatsOvernight.com. OatsOvernight.com, which I have to tell you, uh, I'm a little disappointed off the bat because it says their marketing brand all over the box. You know, everywhere I look, I see Oats Overnight, Oats Overnight, Oats Overnight. It's everywhere in the box. And the reason why I'm disappointed with that is I would have been much happier if it was just a plain white box. You know, taking advantage of the marketing space, I get it, you know. So this way, if it's on somebody's doorstep, somebody drives by, hey, look, that guy got oats overnight. I wonder if I should get it too. I've been thinking about it lately. So I get the marketing tactic behind that. Unfortunately, in the reality of this world, I live in New York and there's a lot of porch pirates running around Long Island, New York, where they see boxes on a doorstep and they just run up and take them. And then when they get busted by the ring bell or the security cameras, like, oh, no, uh, I thought I'd deliver this to the wrong address and blah, blah, blah. You know, you get all those idiot remarks from stupid porch pirates out there, okay? So this is just inviting porch pirates to know, hey, there's oats overnight in here. Oh, that's that new company that's trending. I bet I could probably sell that on Amazon. You know what I mean? So this is just advertising to get stolen. So I understand their direction of marketing on it, but I really just want a plain white box without all the dot com and big green uh, announcement of what the hell they got in the box here. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. This is going to be first impressions. Uh, so because it is overnight oats, uh, I don't have anything soaked overnight because I just got this box yesterday and I wanted to save the unboxing for the video. So I wanted to do that and uh, just give you guys my overall first impression on how it's packaged and you know what it comes with and everything okay. So immediately after opening the box it is green everything is green on the inside so everything in the inside of the box is green. Uh, comes with this card here. It says, Welcome to R&D. Uh, you might be wondering what this is. This is an in-development flavor uh, only you have access to through our subscriber-exclusive program. Each month will include a new in-development flavor for your shipment for you to try. We want your feedback to help us determine if we should release it to the public. Go to the drawing board email at uh, email us at flavors at over oatsovernight.com and let us know what you think. Okay, so this is a flavor that they have in development, and this just happens to be Tita Misu, which Tita Misu in Italian, if anybody wanted to know, means pick me up. Included, they give you a shaker, you know, so they give you the shaker, the overnight blender, they call it, the blender bottle for your overnight oats. Uh, it says, let's see, retailer, remove bag for display. So they put retailer advice. Obviously, you'd have to remove the bag. And the flavor that I had purchased, which I'm a big, big believer on, is uh, I'm a big fan, not a believer, but a big fan of strawberries and cream. Everything I do is strawberry and cream. Especially when I vape. When I vape, I like strawberries and cream. That's my most favorite flavor. Uh, in this box, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, geez, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen bags. And oh, look at that, more marketing. On the inside of the box, it actually says another web address for oatsovernight.com. They went a little crazy with the marketing there, guys. 
Calm down, guys. All right, calm down. Now, I'm going to tell you this. Each, sing each and every single bag that I've gotten here, it actually is covered with some sort of dust, which I believe is from their factory where they make the product. So each and every bag is covered in some sort of airborne dust. Now, I don't think it's dust like dirt type of dust. I think it's dust from the actual company of making the oats where, the, where it's being packaged. You know, it's weird. So instead of having a clean bag, all the bags are covered in some sort of oatmeal dust, you know. Uh, I'm going to do a smell test test on this and, and we're going to go from there basically. So I'm going to open one bag up and we'll do a smell test. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So when I look inside, I see little granules of pink and tan granules, like a powder. I see oats in there, like little small flakes of oats. And let's see if I shake it up a little bit. Yep, I get some oats, some strawberry. It looks like strawberry pieces, dehydrated strawberry pieces almost. Yeah. They get like dehydrated strawberries in there. Kind of like the same type of strawberries you see in Special K strawberry cereal. Like those dehydrated ones. That's what's in here. Mm. Not bad. Okay. I can see, you know, that's where a lot of the strawberry flavor is coming from. I see chia seeds in there. I see the black chia seeds. So I do see them. And, you know, they're grinding these down into a powder, basically. That's basically what they're doing. They're grinding it down into a powder. So I don't know if you guys can see this, if it's even visible. Okay, so I'm unraveling the plastic from the container. I'm going to open this up and see what's inside here. Okay, so it says blender bottle. No ordinary bottle. Leak proof guaranteed. Easy grip design. Ounce and millimeter markings. Stay open flip cap. Easy to clean. Dishwasher safe. No electricity or batteries required. BPA and pH phthal phthalate free. Uh, it says for more information visit www.blenderbottle.com It also says congratulations you own the best blender bottle brand shaker cups have led the industry for more than two decades fueling millions of people across the globe from elite athletes to everyday adventurers to health conscious consumers enjoy your overnight oats in the bottle that revolutionized the fitness industry Please note the blender bowl wire whisk is not included in the overnight oats version of the blender bottle. Classic shaker. So yeah, I was actually expecting to find the little ball, the middle little metal ball in there. But they're saying it's not needed in this apparently. On the bottom it says blender bottle on there. So there's marketing again. Blender bottle here, blender bottle there. Blender, blender bottle on the inside. I mean, these guys are definitely not short on, uh, on marketing. I got to tell you that, that's for sure. So the way this works, apparently it says, uh, he's enjoying the go, enjoying a bowl. Okay, you can enjoy it in a bowl also. You can mix with four ounces of milk or milk alternative in a bowl. Do not use water. Chill it in the fridge overnight. Enjoy with the spoon whenever you're ready. So it's another overnight scenario here. And of course, marketing for their website on here, oatsovernight.com. Uh, they're out of Tempe, Arizona, these guys, okay? So uh, 2420 West 14th Street, Sweet B, Tempe, Arizona, 85281, all right? So it's certified gluten-free and not bad, and it's whole grain and it's rolled in oats. So I'm going to go ahead and... Just go ahead and start pouring this in here. Let 
Now, if you're dieting milk, whole milk really isn't the way to go, really, if you're dieting. So what I would suggest if you're dieting, maybe use uh, oat milk or maybe almond milk or... I don't like soy milk. I don't even like saying soy milk because really it's soy juice. So, uh, so the early portion of this video I did about early in the morning and now it's the end of the day. I just came home from work. Uh, I put the same t-shirt on that I was rocking this morning except now I got an undershirt on. So you might see the whiteness of my undershirt here. But uh, yeah. So I'm back, I had a long day at work, I sold a car, so I'm super happy about that. And uh, yeah, I took out my oatsovernight.com blender bottle. I mean, they really went crazy with the marketing. They don't need to put all this marketing on it. It drives me nuts that they did that. So that's a huge con in my book is the greed factor, okay? Okay, great building a good name, you're trending, blah, 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 this and that. Enough with all the marketing. I mean, that's enough, really? So, uh, I realized there's a little hook on my blender bottle. Not that I'll ever hook it onto anything, but... Mm, it smells like oatmeal with a little hint of strawberry, so that's a plus. But we're gonna give it the taste test today because I put this in there probably around 10 o'clock this morning. It is now 9 o'clock at night. If it's overnight oats, I assume that the um, 10 hours that I had this sitting in my fridge is probably long enough, okay? So it's not overnight. It was over the day, basically, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and give it a sample test. Okay, milky, slight hint of the strawberry. Not a very strong strawberry taste, but it's there. And it's weird because you get the oats that come in your mouth. I, I know that sounds bad, but the oats, when they enter your mouth, you feel them. And you're wondering, should I sit there and chew the oatmeal before I swallow? That's the kind of feeling I'm getting. Well, you can swallow some of it. This just sounds awful. Okay. You can swallow some of it and then chew whatever oats are remaining in your mouth. Mm. It's probably going to be the fastest I've ever eaten a bowl of oatmeal. really good as I get to the bottom there's more oatmeal down there mm. this is good pretty good you know it's not bad for people who like oatmeal you'll love this I mean absolutely love it when you get down to the bottom it's all the oats are down there so you can't really gulp them down they are soft they are mushy but I think it's natural instinct that you want to chew it you know what I mean Very good. Very good. I'm actually excited to try the tiramisu and see how that one is tomorrow. But looking at the bottom of here, it looks like there's strawberry seeds in there and chia seeds and 
some flax seeds stuck in the bottom of it. But this was very interesting, you know. It's a new way of eating oatmeal, you know. And, you know, normally for breakfast myself, have an Atkins shake. This is strawberry and cream, Atkins shake. 15 grams of protein, 2 grams of carbs, 2 net carbs, uh, 1 gram of sugar, and 5 grams of fiber. And if followed by that, I'm still sticking with the strawberry and cream routine because I love strawberry and cream. And we got the kefir, kefir probiotic, which this is awesome. It's like a, a liquid yogurt, but it's a probiotic. And you just drink it, cultured, low-fat milk, which, you know, I love doing this. And I love doing this in the morning. But I'm really excited to be doing this in the morning. So I'm actually going to clean out this bottle. I'm going to put the um, tiramisu or the tiramisu as some people call it, uh, the tiramisu packet in there with some milk and let it sit overnight. Starting tomorrow morning, we're going to have some overnight oats. You know, in the beginning, like I said, it was liquidy in the beginning, but as you get to the bottom, it's super thick and you have to chew it, but then you just swallow it. And you know what? Not bad. You know, really not bad at all. It's really good. I'm looking forward to eating 16 days of overnight oats in the morning. So that's going to be interesting. I think I'm still going to do a little probiotic too. And I might even still do the uh, Atkins strawberry. You know, the rich protein shake. I love the shake. It's great. I love this probiotic. It's awesome. But now I got another strawberry and cream thing to add to the inventory. And I got all different sorts of flavors on the site. They've got um, lemon poppy seed and... You know, other flavors that I wasn't really that interested into, really. But the lemon poppy seed, I might be interested in trying the lemon poppy seed. Because I like lemon poppy seed muffins. I'm just hoping the lemon's not too overpowering, you know. But I'll try the tiramisu tomorrow as a trial and error and a test and see how it goes. And go from there. So there you have it folks. I showed you all different sorts of ways on how to make this overnight oatmeal into the five second oatmeal. Okay. Um, there's different things you could do. You could already use strawberry flavored protein powder if you don't have access to freeze dried strawberries. You know, you could do whatever you want. Truly. If you want to make a cookies and cream, just get some cocoa powder, get some dark chocolate powder or something. And then maybe some cookie or something. You know, you can figure something out. It's not that difficult. It's not that hard, really. Anything you could stick in your Nutribullet and blend it together, I'm sure it'll be perfect. Okay? So, from me to YouTube, peace out. Like, comment, and subscribe. And just be wary if you're going to buy product on their site. Think before you, you know, you might save a little money on the subscriber uh, scenario. But you might just be locked into it where, you know, they're just collecting money from you each and every month, okay? So just be wary of that. And if you call in and you try to talk to someone, you're not going to get anywhere. You're not going to get anyone on the phone. So just be wary. You know, you could buy the product, but you have the option of not being a subscriber and paying more, and that's it. This way they won't bang, they won't bang you over the head, over your head for your credit card each and every month, all right? So I learned my lesson don't subscribe. Buy it online, don't subscribe. That's just me. That's my thought process. So for me to YouTube, peace out, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out of here. Laters.